Well, the subject of SmackDown, they did, in fact, not only do a unification match on Friday, but they unified the titles. The Usos, yes, they did. Yep, the Usos beat Randy Orton and Riddle. And, uh, you know that was a last-minute decision. <laughs> they, they realized that perhaps we should not be promoting a match we're not going to deliver. Well, yeah, I think that was part of it. But they had no, they had no plan to finish. I, I thought they were building the Usos winning. I mean, it, all the booking was, but I was actually Well, told, they also, I mean, it was very clear when the show started and Roman Reigns basically said, if you don't win the titles and unify them, well, you're out of the po- bloodline. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. At that point, at 8 o'clock, of course. Of course. But um, the, the, the plan was always the angle at the end. Um, you know, it was, and it was never Riddle and Orton winning. You know, it was... A way to get out of it, you know. I mean, probably is probably a DQ for Roman Reigns interfering. I didn't. I wasn't told that directly. I was only told that that they came in, you know, and the big thing was the angle. And as far as what they were going to do for the finish, that they went back and forth, and Vince eventually made the call that. Uh, but you know, basically that, you know what. We've been pushing this so much. We might as well do it. And it's like, it's not like this is some long-term plan and this is the day they're going to go back. I mean, literally, there was no plan other than they're going to do the big angle. And obviously, the big angle is to lead to Roman Reigns matches with Orton and Riddle. At least that's the plan as of right now, and that can change too. But that was what this is all about. And the tag titles are what the tag titles are. And uh, we got one champion. Will they break it up? Nobody knows. Nobody knows if when, where, or anything because the decision itself wasn't made until Friday. So, um, but well, it's pretty you know, clear too because I mean, when you think about, we've been talking about Hell in a Cell, and we've been there's no Roman Reigns. What's the main event? Seth and Cody in a Hell in a Cell match. That is nothing that, that, on the that, line. That 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 is the main event. I mean, they could have used. A unification match on that show. Well, you know they could still do. They can still do a rematch. Well, sure, they could do a rematch, but we've already seen the unification. Yes. So now the rematch is just like it's a tag team title match. I mean, the unification could have been pushed as something historic, but they just did it on SmackDown. So, um, yeah, I think that's why it was on SmackDown was because they didn't know what they were going to do. They were just going to do the angle, and um, if they had done. If they had planned the unification, and you know, it could have been a big deal on this pay per view. Because yeah, it would be bigger to do the unification on the pay per view than um, the rematch of the unification. And I don't even know they're doing a rematch. You know, as far as like what what's happening on that pay per view. Um, and um, now, so um, I mean, they didn't. You know, I, what from the show? It, you, it was what's the best bet? It was going to be was Ra- Raquel and Ronda Rousey. I mean, we already saw it, but but they don't have. But who else is there? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty short term planning if you have Ronda Rousey beat Raquel and then well, well, that was never the to have them rematch at the pay per view. That was never the plan. It's now you have to. You know, the plan was Ronda Rousey and Sasha Banks. Sure, yeah. So um, now they have to make a new plan and. Uh, you know, you've got Raquel Gonzalez, you've got Natalia, you got Shayna. Um, who else you got? Well, I mean, in theory, you can use anybody from Raw. Um, so you can, do, you can do Becky Lynch, but they're not going to do Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch. They're certainly not doing that now. No, so it's not going to be that. Um, you know, Bianca Belair and, and Oscar are together, so it's going to be that. Um, yeah, so you could send Carmella. <laughs> um or or whatever you know i mean there's um uh, well the other issue you know, with getting you, a, a re, challenger you could, is you, could, you could you could send rhea ripley you, you could know? but the other yeah. issue with with the challenger is we've got to put some tag teams together here to fight for these vacant tag team titles and carmel and Zelina are probably gonna end up back together again and you know well, yeah, Maddie and that, Shane that, that, are gonna be i mean if you're gonna have any sort of tournament or whatever i mean you've got to have some teams you got to have at least four right uh, you think so you got to have at least four. Um, I mean, the only team out there that's the, the only real team is is uh, Natty and Shayna Baszler. Because and honestly, yeah. if you've got the if you've got so few women's teams, and we're trying to figure out what to do for a tournament. I mean, maybe you should just ice the titles for a while. But that that, that they can't do. I mean, well, you, they can. Yeah, but they're not going to. Not after that speech. 
they they said that they have to do a tournament now. They said it. So now well, they I have guess to. Guess when it tournament. will put, get NXT teams in? We have a bunch of makeshift teams, NXT teams. Uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what they come up with. I mean, otherwise you can't have mean, much of a tournament. Well, you just put, uh, yeah, geez, Tamina and, and uh, I mean, um, Zelina and uh, Carmella broken up twice. Um, but whatever, you know, I mean, like, yeah, the only team is, is Baszler and, and um, you know, and Natalia. Everybody else is like, you know, Morgan and... Uh, and Rhea Ripley broke up as a team. I guess you could do Nikki Nikki Ash and Dewdrop as a team, but you know, they certainly weren't put together as a team to be in the championship mix. They were put together as a team to you know to do whatever they were going to do with Nikki, you know, to to uh, you know culminate the little angle that they were doing. But yeah, maybe they'll have to be in it. I guess they will have to be in it. There's not. Not a lot of teams there that are going on, so uh, I, I would say that they'll have to be in it, too, yeah. So they injured Riddle afterwards. They uh, give him the big splash for the announce table, and, man, Jay had to jump a long way to hit that. that was and a, he I know. barely made it. But they did the uh, the big injury angle, and then Roman Reigns choked out Randy Orton. So, I mean, it's just it'll depend on what order are we going to do. Is Riddle going first? Is Randy Orton going first? When's Drew McIntyre going Drew McIntyre actually uh, hinted uh, September that he might be. Uh... Well, Drew McIntyre and, and Roman Reigns, as of right now, is September third. Yes. Um, the other, the other two, you know, it was Riddle July two, Orton July thirty, but that's far from etched in stone. But but the McIntyre and it doesn't one, matter. No, it does. Well, they're stadium shows. So. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter the order. No, it really does at all. Um, you know, McIntyre is because of Cardiff. The funny part of that is, is that I know people in the UK who believe that Roman Reigns is getting cheered over McIntyre because they did, um, um, what was it? They did the, I think they did a match in London where uh, Roman Reigns got cheered over McIntyre, which whatever it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. I mean, because it's still about the the local draw and everything like that. The the, the fly in the ointment that could change it is if they actually do a deal with Tyson Fury. Because if they do a deal with Tyson Fury, he's going to be wrestling with um, McIntyre. And that would leave Roman having to work with somebody else. But, uh, you know, I mean, and, and it certainly has been talked about, and Tyson Fury recently talked about it again. And, um, you know, that was, you know, the idea has always been for those two to do a stadium show. You know, and and uh, the idea dates back several years, and the pandemic pushed it away. You know, to where it didn't happen, and now you know we got a real show. So, um, you know, that that's the one thing. But but right now, right now, Tyson Fury's not on the show, and right now it's Roman Reigns and Drew. I mean, but you know, again, that that, that we got months for that one to change. I did think the finish of the Nakamura Sami Zayn match was awesome because yeah uh, yeah it was cute it was cute yeah so uh, Zayn is outside and Nakamura goes after him and Zayn lays him out and jumps back in the ring and he's trying to win another match via count out which he had done uh, the last time they wrestled so they're right at nine and Nakamura flies into the ring he just barely breaks the count so then they start brawling around ringside again and this time Nakamura lays out Sami Zayn on the outside and Nakamura jumps in the ring and now the ref is counting out Sami Zayn and Sami's fighting and he's fighting his own, and he finally leaps in right at nine and the second he slides in the ring he gets hit with the uh Kinshasa and pinned it was an awesome finish and uh played off the last match that they had and they had a, a deal where when Naka was, Nakamura was coming out he uh kind of stared at Roman Reigns who was leaving from the opening segment so I mean they are still teasing that match although they better do something because every time he's in the ring with Roman, they just bury Nakamura. Yeah, but Roman Roman destroys everybody. Well, yeah, but I mean, give the guy a, an, an inkling of credibility if he's going to have a match. Like literally, every time he's in there, he gets laid out and beaten up. He just got beat by Sami Zayn. He's going fifty fifty with Sami Zayn. Well, at least he beat him this time. Yeah, there was that. Happy Corbin destroyed the Andre the Giant trophy. Even though technically it's a community trophy because everyone's name is on it, but he destroyed it. Uh, Gunther beat Gulak again. Looks like yeah. Ricochet is going to be uh, the next. Uh, well, at least well, it's I guess, something. Yeah, it's something. Ricochet and Gunther. Um, I'm trying to think. Of, I don't think I've seen that match, um, but I think, I mean, the potential's there for it to If be they had been in the old NXT, that match would be absolutely phenomenal. On SmackDown, I'm not sure it's going to be 
yeah, quite I, that I, phenomenal. I, I would agree. Um, I, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't think I saw them in PWG against each other. I'd have to look that up. I mean, I saw both of them so many times in PWG, but I mean, the ones like with with the Walter that I remember, you know, was um, you know, Zach was like the great opponent, you know, more than. You know, and Ricochet was going against other guys and everything, but um, I may have seen it, but um, it doesn't ring a bell for whatever reason. But um, put this way, like the matches that those two were having, there's not a doubt in my mind if they had wrestled PWG, it would have been off the charts. It would have been an incredible match. Um, and the potential is there for an incredible match. Whether we get that or not, who knows? I mean, I don't. Yeah, I think if they were in NXT, uh, they would have had an incredible match, too. Well, we had the debut on the main roster of LA Knight as Max Dupree. Yeah. He is now a head of the a C modeling agency. The and he's CEO looking for a modeling agency. Good looking the, wrestlers. So who 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 do we got? <laughs> I mean so anyway, Adam Pierce doesn't know what's going on and Dupree says, Well, Sonya Deville hired me, and Pierce goes, Well, she's uh no longer in management. But we've already signed a contract. Yeah, Dupree's already got a contract, so... Uh... Yeah. Um, it is interesting because it's kind of um, the uh, updated version of the uh, Rick Bassman, you know, um, his, his entree into pro wrestling of wanting to hire, you know, uh, big bodybuilder guys and... Um, you know, then uh, bring him to pro wrestling. And this is like the modeling guys. So it's like the 2022 version of that. Um, except, you know, it's, that's the, that's the deal, you know. I mean, the, <laughs> it's, it's funny only because, you know, WWE's always been about looks, you know. I mean, it's not entire looks, but it's always been more heavily about looks in WWE than any, any other company. And, but they never would tell you that, you know what I mean? And even, even with the, even with the women, you know, on NXT where it's so obvious, they don't actually like tell you it. They, 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 um, they, they, you know, they tell you it subliminally. Like this is just like outright telling you, um, but whatever, you know, I mean, we'll see, we'll see who he's got, um, who they throw in there with him and, uh, the guy, look, the guy can talk. Um, you know, I'm, I don't want to say I'm surprised they made him a manager. Um, you know, cause obviously they've been trained, you, know, you know, for the last month we knew he was going in as a manager. But, um, you know, it's, you know, he's got a good body. So it, it's almost to me like, you know, that is their kind of guy, but I guess they just felt, um, I guess they just felt he wasn't main roster quality wrestler, but he's obviously, I mean, he's, he's a super talker. And so, um, I get, if you don't feel a guy's wrestling is at that level, but he can talk really good, make him a manager. So it's actually a great usage of him because the guy can talk. Um, the problem is, or not the problem, the question is, is that will they put him with guys that have credibility or will they put him with guys who, are just there to be laughed at in the second match. And that will, you know, that will determine if he's a main event manager or he's just a comedy figure. We had uh, Raquel beating Shotzi very quickly. So uh, now she's getting the big push again, so maybe Ronda Rousey. And then uh, Xavier beat Butch in the feud that will never end with the small package. And then afterwards, he was beat up. These are the guys that, uh, they're the brawling brutes, not yeah. the bloody brutes. Yeah. And uh, they're going to have a six-man next week where, uh, I guess, Xavier and Kofi are going to have a very special partner mm. for this match. And then we had, of course, the Michael Cole deal and then the main event. So that was the SmackDown show. I thought the main event was a, was a good match. I, I didn't think it wasn't like that off the charts great. Um, the brawl was a lot more impressive and a lot more memorable. The match was like, the match was very standard, well done WWE style. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, Riddle got, they got the heat on Riddle. They had, you know, um, you know, great RKO spot and save. And, uh, you know, Roman Reigns, um, Roman Reigns basically screwed Riddle and, uh, 
Jay jumped off the top ropes with a splash after Roman Reigns knocked Riddle off the top rope. So, um, you know, that was just basic, basic style match. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.